Hey y'all, if you own a boat, you probably know what boat stands for. And if you don't, I'm going to spell it out for you. B-O-A-T Break Out Another Thousand So owning a boat is always costing you a lot of money. Seems like there's always something going wrong. So I do whatever I can to try to save money is on mechanical work. If it's something that's pretty simple. So if you're mechanically inclined, um, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do on your own if you just kind of look into it a little bit. What I have here going on now is I have a, uh, my battery's not staying charged. When I'm out on the lake, I crank up several times and move around from spot to spot and next thing you know I'm stranded. First you might think well my battery's dead and it is dead but you got to figure out why is it dead. So what I'm going to do instead of buying a new battery is I'm fixing to throw this tester on there and see what kind of voltage I get when the engine's running. These are handy. If you own a boat you got to have a pair of these. Stick this on here. It's going to go down here and cover up where this water intake is right here. Right there. Alright. Now then, real quick before I turn the water on, I'm going to show you here. Turn this on. And let's see what the voltage are on this battery right here. We'll touch that to the positive and that to the negative. Eight volts. That ain't enough to start this thing, I bet you. We'll turn the water on and see. You never want to start that thing with it off. That's bad on the water pump. I bet it ain't going to. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's running. We're going to double check it here again. It's showing 13 volts. That's not enough. Now, a four-stroke engine like this don't have a alternator on it. It's got what's called a voltage regulator. And it's located right here in the front of the engine, right here. That's your voltage regulator. And that's what charges the battery. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to disconnect this. By the way, I ordered another one. Let me tell you about this. They want to charge me $160 for this part at the Marine dealer. And I found this part on the internet for $22. $22. They wanted to charge me $160, plus they were at least going to charge me $100 to put it on because they charge $100 an hour. Uh-oh, that one's got a little bit of a broken deal there, but that ain't no big deal. They wanted to charge me $100 an hour to put it on. $160 just for the part and I got it for $22. It looks like that's a 10 millimeter on there. Yep. And you get a little extension. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Remember that. He's got two bolts on each side. You don't want to drop those. 
You can help it. If they go down in here somewhere, you're liable to lose them. I may have to get a smaller one. This thing is supposed to push right here. But a lot of times they don't ever work right. They don't come off the way they're supposed to. There it goes. Pop that off. We'll get the new one. We'll pop it back on. What we'll do before we hook it up, or before we put the bolts back in, we'll start it again and we'll check the voltage on it. Turn your voltage tester back on. See what it's reading here. It was reading 13 with the other one. Look at that. 1470, 1475, 1472, 1473. A whole lot stronger than what that other one was doing. And now look, we're gonna put these two bolts back in there and put that back on there and I have fixed my charging problem in a matter of less than 10 minutes it takes longer to get all your tools out and your water hose hooked up than it does to actually fix your problem and I guarantee you you wouldn't like the price they're going to charge you at the dealership to fix that at the mechanic shop. Remember again, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm going to tighten this up. In 10 minutes or less, I have fixed my problem. Next time you see me, I'll be fishing.